Hello everybody and welcome to my 5th XL 2010 tutorial uh, VBA tutorial I should say and this tutorial is going to go through uh, how to reference your selections so uh, what is the selection? Uh, pretty straightforward, it's, it's what you've selected on the screen um, I don't know why I bothered explaining that so it's wherever you selected, whichever cells you've got selected at the time um, regardless of which sheet you're in uh, it's it's going to be the, those cells you've got selected and so if we go into our code um, and I'll show you how to uh, how to reference that so let's create a new sub called uh, fill selection and then we want to uh, we want to reference our selection uh, the way you do this is just put in selection and then dot and then your selection treats itself as a range so if we then go selection dot value equals and then filled and then so let's, let's, let's select this press alt f8 run this and then everything in our selection the same as if it would read put the range is going to be put as filled if we change our selection um let's do a one up here and run then they're going to be filled if we highlight the entire sheet i'm a bit nervous about doing this because it's probably gonna there we go so um Excel cannot complete the task with available resources, so don't go too crazy with it. Um, just because you you break your program, but um, if you've got simple selections like I had before, then it's going to be really useful. Um, you can probably another one that's quite useful with this, if as I just show you how to to change the the color of a cell. So let's go to selection dot interior dot color you have to spell it in the American way um, just because that's how life is um, and then let's put in our color so we can either do uh, red green blue and then put in so let's put in uh, zero 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 um, let's put a little bit in the green so let's put 50 in green um so let's go back into our sheet and oh f8 run this and then you can see it's filled it in quite a dark gray um if you want to affect the font as well because that's that we're not gonna be able to see that so let's just put a selection dot uh interior dot font dot color equals RGB and we want it to be white so 255 comma 255 comma 255 and then let's run this again so alt f8 run and then we put something in wrong and it's probably that we put the interior in when we're not supposed to um, and then you'll see that it's changed the color of the font as well um, so that's it for selections um, we'll come on in later tutorials to more on the colors um, but really what I wanted to show you is just that rather than using this word but dot sheets dot range you can put in selection um, and it's just going to treat that selection as a range for you to to manipulate in exactly the same way that you would normally um, so that's it for this tutorial uh, thanks for listening uh, please subscribe and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial